The three finalists in the search for Roxy have landed in the Big Apple and hit the ground running. In addition to Roxy Boot Camp, where they worked one-on-one -on -one with the Chicago creative team, Emma, Kate, and Khalifa got to see all the sights of Times Square and visit us at Broadway.com headquarters, where they were guests on Live at Five. Going through this boot camp, did it hit you in a stronger way how much work it takes to achieve those dreams? Yeah, and, and almost like, I'm, I'm here. I've been dancing since I was two years old. I've been working so hard to be on Broadway, yes, because that's where the most amazing work is done. Did it feel different to get notes and um, be coached? What did that mean to have the professionals who are associated with this show on Broadway. It means the world, honestly. I mean, I can sit in my room all day and read the text and figure out how my Roxy is gonna be, but then to have my Roxy molded into what who Roxy is, just knowing that these people have been with this show and they know every nook and cranny. So it's just, it's been the icing on top. It's amazing how different our Roxies are. We talk about it all the time. It's like, it's all different, but not because we're making different choices to be different, it's just, that we are authentically full human beings who have lived our different lives and we're bringing ourselves to this amazing iconic character and to just bring her to life is so cool. I got a lot of great notes today. We learned some additional choreography. I heard David some Bushman put you through new your faces. Choreography, which was fun and great. That style, I've done some musicals in college, that Tander and Ebb, so I love like that style, like the Fosse style. So take me through, you're gonna go back to the hotel tonight. I will absorbing. eat. I will eat first. Eat. And food always. Food first. And then I will review everything so that I feel like everything is securely fastened. <laughs> I know we probably will get nervous, or I will probably get nervous, but I'm gonna try my best to just live in the moment like Roxy does. That's right. Um, and just live in the moment and enjoy the moment while it's happening. <laughs> okay, sleep, rest, food, prep, yes. pray. Yes. 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 <laughs> Roxy. What has it been like to hear from the professionals who have coached you during the boot camp? One of my main things coming here this week was like, keep reminding myself to be present and to be completely in the moment. Half of it has felt like an outer body experience. <laughs> and then the other half is just like, oh my gosh, like I, I would get like chills, like um, almost like electricity. I was in Chicago. Like, like a regional production seven, of it? Seven years ago, like a community theater for that. Did you play Roxy? I did. <laughs> All right, girl. She still to this date is like easily top three characters. Whatever you did to coach yourself when you got here, I think it's working because I think you applied the notes in the moment. Being in the room with the other girls and watching them get their coaching, like 
all three of our Roxy's could not be more different. They're all and so, so it's different. so incredible and inspiring to witness that and to to see these girls work and then to like be able to get my own feedback and and, and work in a way that I have never gotten to work before. The three finalists then got to hear from host Paige Davis and casting director Benton Whitley, who not only gave them tips on their final audition, but surprised them with news of the special guest judges. So just remember that this show, and especially this number, it's a vaudeville act, right? And so those jokes in the show, they're vaudeville jokes. Take the time to set up the joke so that it lands. And the other thing to remember, just as you do this monologue, right, don't ever let it sit back. Don't ever let it be casual, right? Remember that it's always propelling forward, right? As Gwen, like one of the famous things she says is put it in neutral and just grab. <laughs> that is what, that's Fosse choreography, right? It's not about big, huge movement. It's about the intensity of being just isolated. So get lots of sleep, drink lots of water, vocal rest, right? Maybe put your script under your pillow so just by like osmosis it goes through. It goes through. <laughs> because the people you're auditioning for are... Do you know who Bianca Marikin is? Which is one of our... Oh, yeah. Our longest running Roxy Hearts. BB is going to be there. How exciting is that? Oh She's God. the one who inspired me. And also Annie. Anne Reich oh, is coming to me. Oh, oh. So. Oh my God, the girls! Oh <laughs> I think I watched Saucy Burden like 80 times. <laughs> <laughs> what I can tell you is they're the nicest women in the world. They're oh so, God. Bianca's amazing. She's a trip and a half. Oh BB mm. is so delightful and will be incredibly supportive. And Annie's exactly the same. She wants nothing but for you to be amazing. And she will do everything to help you too. She will give notes like, she says like one word and it's a pearl. It's just like a pearl. So, so good break luck. Legs. Break legs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Before their big audition, the ladies got to see Chicago and go backstage to chat with leading lady Charlotte Dumbois. Chicago, right there. On the Broadway, right there. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Be sure to tune in next time when we find out who will star as Broadway's next Roxy Hart.